The Bahamas is joining the CARICOM community in strengthening security across the region by implementing crucial legislation. Yesterday, Fox Hill MP and Foreign Affairs Minister the Honorable Fred Mitchell led off debate on the Advanced Passenger Information System Bill. It's designed to provide information on passengers coming into a country who may pose a security threat. Mitchell says this comes as regional countries are faced with issues of increased guns, gang violence, trafficking in persons, and and drugs. Mitchell says during the recent CARICOM meeting in Georgetown, Guyana, regional leaders emphasized the importance of aligning national security to tackle crime head on. Many countries, including the United States, have introduced national legislation since 2006. Within the Caribbean community, APIS came into effect on the 1st of February 2007. Regional and international aircraft and vessels are required to submit advanced passenger information prior to arrival in and departure from any of the 10 member states uh, forming the single domestic space uh, of uh, CARICOM. So this means that airlines flying to these countries must provide various details about each customer. In some cases, aircraft will not be able to land if they have passengers on board whose details have not been <coughs> provided in advance. The importance of APIS is seen with the Bahamas Immigration Integrated Management System uh, comprised of the following systems. And uh, I remind the public that the Bahamas government is in the process of expending some $18 million on a new border management system, which will include, um, uh, which will be rolled out over <coughs> a period of five years. You already see some evidence of this uh, at the uh, airports, should see the automatic uh, uh, machines at, uh, for entry gates at the Freeport Airport uh, and at the Lyndon Pindling International Airport. And I think it's anticipated that Marsh Harbor will also part, be part of that program. 